have an additional issue with the hardy plank. Uh, it's my understanding the hardy plank comes pre-colored. It has this color pass, yeah. The quotation that we're about to approve is <coughs> painting the hardy plank. I don't know why we would paint something that's pre-colored. Okay, I understood it was color pass. Yeah. I, I can kind of clarify that as well. Uh, the page uh, is called Quote at the Top, Cardinal Building Systems. Just a minute, it looks like this. And if you look about halfway down the list of, uh, of items quoted yeah. package, this is painted to owner specifications. I can't imagine why we do that. Well, what I think is meant here, we do need to get it clarified, is that he's, he's uh, allowing us options for colors. Not that we have to paint it on I think it's color fast. Joe, it, it, is it not? Yeah. Well, it, it, when I was looking at it, they were all pre-finished. And there were, at the time, eight different, I think, maybe nine different colors that you, you could choose from. And all of them had finish on them. They were primed and finished. They were not a prime product that they offered. They were all completely finished. But this may be something new that now they're doing, I don't know. Steve, from Master's Drive, I heard something about seven or eight feet of the building going to be underground. Did I miss something? Below, they're, below they're the gray. They're going to excavate and balance the site. So it will be, there's about seven foot cut they're going to have to make the side of the building to level it up. How much of this, how high do you anticipate of this being seen from Master's? I think you'll see the top of the roof. And that's it? Yeah, and maybe not even that, depending on how much Thank you get up the burn. Oh, I need to know. Are, are they doing this with like the closing on a fixed price basis or time and materials? <coughs> I can't tell from their quote sheet what they're proposing. For well, what price project? Right. It's, 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 a, it's a turnkey project. I understand. It's fixed price for the one fifty. Ray, Ray is saying fixed price in his proposal. Yeah. Ray is. I understand. So you're, you understand this to be a fixed price contract? Yes. Okay. Good. I have a question, uh, Ray. Um, is this proposal fully compliant with the RFP? I mean, I haven't gone through it step by step. Is it fully compliant? Because he's quite a bit under the other bids, and I didn't go Well, the other bids uh, came in with metal structures. Okay. And, and is, they were considerably higher because it was a different... I think they came in with stuff. other numbers that were higher, too, in different areas, like E1, stuff like that. So is he fully compliant with... Not with the RFP. This is a deviation from the RFP. It's a whole different approach. Than the well, approach. except for the metal. Yeah. Is everything else fully compliant? For instance, I didn't see anything in here about the fire hydrant piece. Well, that was an add-on that came in after we... That was something that was required. I still don't any surprises. I don't want to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we prepared the site plan. Uh, and that wasn't... I think it, it occurred after we'd already sent out the RFPs. So, uh, that we had that, we had that requirement out there. Now, we had a few other ones that brought up to... If we accept the bid that is outside the scope of the RFP, we become vulnerable to a lawsuit from anybody else who did that could completely hold up the entire construction. Mm, I agree. Yes. Contract in law one, you set the RFP specs. You, you have to You can't even um, consider this. We we've all legally. I'm just telling you. Okay. Yeah, Bill. This is what I think. Bill, Bill, Yes, you are. If you are going to deviate from the RFP, you, you should give the other bidders a chance to bid on what they have bid, and and that's all you're legally bound to do. But that's not why I had my hand up. Um, <laughs> if that's the material that's going to be used, and it and and I don't I haven't seen the drawings. I don't know how it's going to be placed. I hear that the elevation is below grade. Uh, and I assume this is the new trash area that we're building? Yes? No? Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of open. Yes? Storage? Is it garage doors where we go, vehicles go in and out? Okay. So a wood structure like that, a pressed wood, which is nothing but pieces of wood with glue holding it all together, absorbs water really well. And if it's below grade and in the shade, you may want to really look hard at that before we spend our money putting it into something that it will end up being a sponge in about 10 to 15 years. 
And you may want to stick with the all metal construction because that's probably why the architect and designer said an all metal, metal building because of where it's sited and placed on that. On he, that there was site. no architect and there was no specification as to provide it outside for a different structure. We always imagine okay. a metal structure. Mm -hmm. okay. The metal is very vulnerable to moisture, more so than this is. Uh, it, it, it is uh, far enough away from grade. It's not going to be. Uh, it, there is. It's going to be graded to the building. Yeah. Okay. Isn't below grade a misnomer in this case? Below grade, below grade means something is, is stuck in the ground. Below right. This, right. Is, right. this right. is not going to be stuck in the ground per right. se. It's going to be sloped, and it's just going to be. So when you're in the road, you're going to be here, and you're only, and the thing's going to sit down here in kind of a gully. So you're going to see the top. But it's not below grade is a misnomer in this yeah. case. Okay. It's below the grade of the roadway. So it's not an eyesore, that, yeah. that was the intent yeah. of the question. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. As a general question, Ray, when we go out with an RFP, <clears throat> do we, uh, in the RFP, allow alternates to be presented? <coughs> it wasn't presented that way. No. And we, we, the last month, we had, were ready to present this to you, and this came in right yeah. the yeah. a day. So uh, if we need to send this out again and request an alternate bid proposal. We'll have to come back next month with this. That was my question. How long did it take to get another RFP refund? I'm sure <coughs> I get a response pretty quickly from I know the other uh, builders, their specialty is metal construction. Your best judgment when you had it done by November and stuff in it? We still have enough. Uh, if Mr. Uh, Lloyd is correct, and he said an eight, eight week uh, yeah. construction period. Okay. So we have sufficient time to do that. Okay. Ray, um, maybe you mean to have it presented here in this attachment one, but I can't understand attachment one. Is, is there some complete accounting of this project, including all, all elements of the project, and adding that up for a total? This includes all elements of the project with the exception of the uh, site plan and the three components that were listed under the second recommendation. And the fire hydrant. The fire hydrant is in this workshop, center line, center column. Mm -hmm. Okay, there, okay, there. 